Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Happy solstice. Happy age of Aquarius. Happy Elleru alignment. Happy constellation activation it is amazing what's been going on today. And now we're going to anchor. We're going to bring it all together. We've had such fun. We've had a really, really good time. I'm just going to check what that word says. There we go. That's okay. I'm just making sure that everybody on Zoom is here. Hi, guys. And hi, everybody on Facebook. This is our third post today. And then you won't hear from me for a little while. And here we have Mr. Paul Fossey. Uh, alchemist of sound, the cosmic percussionist, <laughs> he is playing the harmony in the con. Absolutely beautiful. There'll be more of that in a moment. The harmony drum, a living Merkaba, this beautiful space of love in the center of the sanctuary. We're bringing you the angels of awakening. We're bringing you our joy from today. We have the guests who've been here for our retreat and uh, our retreat has been quite, quite amazing. First proper retreat for the new now and boy, hasn't it been incredible. We have had such an incredible ex, ex Experience. It really has. It's been rolling through, rolling and flowing with every day, every moment. There's been something completely unexpected happen. And uh, it really is playing in the world of energy and the world of divine magic. It has been quite amazing. We've been finding ourselves in, in groups of six and we've been finding ourselves, uh, uh, because the doors have been closed at the Abbey, we were doing something else at the the back in the Mary line, we, we've been um, all over the tour. It has been absolutely wonderful. If you are in any doubt whether the alignment took place, the stars in the sky, they are there. Even if we can't see them, we know that they're there. And this gateway, oh lovely, I can see your crystals there, Rosie. Absolutely beautiful. We were um, in the Abbey and I was given by the Abbey wall, um, by the angels, a stone. Literally, I said, oh, there's a stone. And it's a heart-shaped stone. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Absolutely incredible. And a lovely little heart-shaped stone. Um, um, and it's got like a smile on it. So uh, the end, end within the stone is very pleased to be here at the Daisy Center. So we have, we were up at uh, the crack of, well, my mum would say the crack of fart, darling, the crack of fart. <laughs> <laughs> as early as can be. Oh, Rosie, can we ask you to mute your microphone? Can everybody mute their microphones? Because otherwise it will um, uh, interfere with the sounds. Thank you. And we um, were up so early. Uh, we were up on the tour, it took quite a trek to get up there. There was already the drummers, the uh, uh, fires were going, they uh, were there camping the night before. We were there yesterday just, just uh, checking out the, um, the energies and, and uh, bringing in the angels and the grids and everything were in place. So this morning it really flowed absolutely beautifully. It was quite phenomenal. It's still there on Facebook if you want to have a look. And then it flowed into the alignment with Tor and uh, the lovely Louise bringing the energy of the chakras from around the world, the sacred chakras, the sacred sounds. And then we came back here for the uh, 10, 10 o'clock 
um, alignment with Uluru and uh, it will be a little bit late because uh, technology seems to be, be going all haywire today um, and we were here in perfect time for the alignment and so no just trust that this rolling energy of love um thank you for so many of your wishes and blessings from all over the world it's been amazing because that's what's happening now we are going global we really are a one unity a one love a one heart breathing here as one and the angels of avalon the angels of awakening the angels of ascension are really bringing this energy through this golden light this beautiful golden herkimer has been so so beautiful i've been given a gift look at this gift this is the gift of look at that <laughs> <laughs> the red red of the poncetias the, the christ plant and this is the christ plant that brings in the energy of the of the root the the most wonderful the red and green absolutely amazing bless you for bringing a gift of the color red to bring that into alignment that's uh, if it was um if it would red roses red poncetas absolutely i can't say that word you know that's so i'm not going to say it again <laughs> i know but i didn't really say it right so uh we are just going to bring a little bit of sage into the proceedings so that we can really start now thank you rosie that's so beautiful because she's showing me all her crystals um and that uh, crystal kingdom has been working over time today the angels have been working through um here is the scepter Septus the dragon stone um, um and the dragon stone beautiful again thanks rosie lovely green um uh, uh malachite there so the scepter this is the dragon stone and we have been connecting with the dragon's eggs both on the tour and at the abbey um, even when though the doors shut the stone doesn't know that we're not sitting next to it it's so vast the consciousness it just talks to us when we communicate with it and so this beautiful crystal i'm going to beam this out to you today now so we are going to bring this energy through it is all about anchoring it's all about really completing knowing that all the the bows have been tied all of your your uh, endings all of your beginnings are really um, in alignment and the energy is flowing now with ease and with grace and you've caught up all parts of your body because this truth this light this love that we are experiencing it's not fluffy bunny stuff i don't do fluffy bunny angels these angels are big these angels are strong these angels show themselves in the sky the energy of the tour the angel of the tour my goodness me came into alignment today <laughs> Woo! it was phenomenal and so as we are bringing in this energy we uh, on 2012 we brought through um the principles the principles every day from the first to the 12th we brought another principle we tied another bow and we made a a wand of truth this is our talking stick this is um, Merlina's wand and it's a stick from the abbey um, Ronnie was two then and he said what's that oh that's a nice stick Omar I wonder what we will do with that and we made a wand we stuck some blue tack and a herkima on the end and this is the the crystal for talking for communication with all the colors of the rainbow all the principles of the angels all of the love that is flowing now through for this age of aquarius it's been a long time coming and it's been a lot of energy to stop it from 
arising and for it flowing and so it's still we're still going through this battle of the light and the dark and we can can stay in our hearts and we can stay in the light and this battle can be be dissipated it can go away just as quickly as it came viruses are part of life they were here before humanity and we have to recognize that there is a symbiosis there is an integration there is an embodiment there is a love for this so let's look at how we can embody what we've done today so we went through the chakras earlier today now am i going to remember them all here we go we had the root chakra which was mount shasta and by anchoring in through our root through to our earth star right down to the heart of mother earth mount shasta energy all that beautiful angel energy from shasta and then came to through to the sacral chakra lake titicaca getting lots and lots in the room so lake titicaca in peru uh, that beautiful space um in our sacral chakra our trust center our relationship zone so again bringing that energy through the chakras of the world the sacred spaces to our solar plexus and this is the one that really went online and this went online at Uluru today and Kachachuta those people who know know what I'm talking about uh, when we think of the uh, Uluru we think of Kachachuta too the male uh, space sacred space and in between um, the chakra of the of uh, the sacral and the solar plexus is the Sashani the Egyptian chakra which was activated in 2012 and so the and that's the that is the chakra of manifestation divine manifestation so we are bringing this activation this light and this embodiment through from our solar plexus and that alignment with uluru that connecting to the heart of mother earth all your chakras from your heart down are your fundamental chakras connecting you to Gaia, to the goddess, to this magnificent planet that we live on and all the kingdoms, all the kingdoms that are part of this planet. And then we come to the heart and the heart, the heart is Glastonbury, Glastonbury, where the energy flows through the ley lines, the hundreds and hundreds of ley lines, 50 major go through the tour and boy was the energy flowing today and those ley lines bring that energy like blood like oxygenated blood it comes in it goes out as you give so you receive as it flows with ease and with grace this love overcoming any fear this love bringing the energy as it flows with ease and with grace in with the breath out with the breath in with the heartbeat out with the space this beautiful light this love as it flows through to your throat chakra and this is the chakra of the sacred site of the pyramids the, of Egypt the great magnificent pyramids and of course on that plateau is Tefnut uh, the sphinx the spit of the sky the most sacred space the the uh, Sphinx, as her name is Tefnut, is the most amazing being, bringing this faith, bringing this communication, the sounds of creation. And then we go to the third eye. And the third eye has been a movable feast. And today we learnt that the third eye has connected in with the heart of Avalon. So the third eye is also in this space of our sacred lands, the summer lands. And as we embody and we bring this in through to our crown, Mount Kailash, this beautiful energy of the mountains, the snow, the white the light of the higher chakras, the higher connection to source. Anything from above your heart is, is your connection to spirit. So to Father Sky, 
the stars, the planets, the angelic spheres. So have you noticed the theme? We have been through, we've been working with Uluru of the land and we've been working with Saturn and Jupiter of the skies. And we are humanity. We are in the middle here, breathing it through. We are, we are transforming from one dimension to another with ease and with grace. So embodying this love, this truth, this absolute energy of divinity. And it is coming in through the golden ray, the gold rose, rose line, the rose gold coming in through the rose quartz, through the rose lines all the way around the world. We have a beautiful three foot high rose quartz in the garden called Rosie, Rosie and Daisy not hard to remember <laughs> and this energy of love is just right yes I can see yours too Rosie how cool is that and so bringing these principles embodying these 12 principles through the 12 parts of your being the 12 petals of your heart as we have we have gone through this meditation how many times today many many times and so for the embodiment of your being for you to earth to anchor to really bring this energy through we're going to ask your guides the guardian angels the dragons the unicorns all of the sekhmets all the beings from the inner earth all of the of the those beings that are supporting us from the skies, from the angels, from the ascended masters, from all those beings and all the new beings that are coming in because a lot of the old guard is just falling away. The old, it's a changing of the guards and it's a changing of our being. We are not going to be in the same patterning, the same habits as we were previously. We have the opportunity to, to draw a line. We have the opportunity as we go through this gateway, as we go through this energy, just dropping away, just literally letting go of the old patterns, the old ways, because the old ways, they were perfect for then, but we are now going in through to a new way. And that new way is harmlessness harmlessness, right action, and love. And as we ask the cosmic percussionist to bring the sounds in, I want you really to feel this flowing as these 12 petals anchor and, uh, and earth, the first three petals of your heart, harmlessness, right action, and love. Both feet on the ground, anchored and earthed as you, as you, ground yourself as you earth yourself plugging in as you anchor into this space the first three petals harmlessness right action and love this beautiful egg of light as it flows through your body this beautiful light the next three petals are forgiveness compassion and truth because as you forgive forgiving yourself forgiving all those who don't agree with you and all, all those who have harmed you and you have harmed forgive and bring in compassion into that space just feel the forgiving this to God and as you forgive the compassion arises compassion with yourself that passion that is flowing through your being through your truth you know the truth when there's harmlessness right action and love forgiveness compassion the truth arises and these six petals of your heart they radiate through the front of your heart radiating out into the world your light your love feel your love know your love and as these petals of the heart, the next three petals are opening with ease and with grace. Harmony, balance and gratitude. 
And as these principles, these petals are radiating this harmony, harmonize your chakras, harmonize your thoughts, harmonize your emotions, harmonize your being. As harmonizing balance, the balance, the polarity, the male, the female, the alpha, the omega, the yin, the yang, bringing that energy together with gratitude, with thanks, with great gratitude, the attitude of gratitude, just receiving this love, the receiving this light, receiving the harmlessness, right action and love, forgiveness, compassion and truth through balance and harmony and gratitude. And as that arises, the next three petals to bring your 12 petals together as one are peace and bliss and grace. And as the peace, the bliss, the grace arises, just feel that love. They all just flow with ease and with grace through harmlessness, right action and love. As the joy, as the hope, as the, as the experience of life, as you trust, trusting yourself, as the pearl of your heart opens, as your flower of your heart is radiant, because in the center of your flower, is the flames of ascension and those flames of ascension we are still flowing through those flames but the pearl of your heart has now arisen the pearl of your heart has now shown itself it's hard to get it from here let's hope i can do it yes this beautiful white calcite sphere, the pearl of your heart is really this big. It started off as this big, but it is expanding through your being. And as the pearl of your heart, this pearl of truth, this is your light, this is your safe space. And as this light just expands, feel the expansion. Feel the joy, feel the light as it just brings that energy through your whole body. Bringing it through the pearl of your heart as you breathe the pearl. Breathing the one breath of creation, the one breath of the universe, the one breath of the one heart, all breathing as one. One love, one heart, one breath, one tribe, one unity of thought, of hope, of dreams, of expectations and aspirations. One breath of love as it flows through your heart, embodying as it embodies and integrates all that you've done today, all that you've done all week, all that you've done all year. My goodness me, what a year. All that you've done for the last seven years, all that you have, uh, have achieved over the last few years, the last few lifetimes. It all comes together and comes together now as one one love, one heart as one. Love is all there is. All there is, is love. And in this place and space of the heart, the sounds of the cosmic percussionist is bringing the sounds of the harmony through. These sounds just receive this light. Just feel this love.
receive these keys, these codes, these activation sounds through the harmony, through this magical sound, this magical instrument. It looks and feels and behaves like a living Merkaba, your body of light, your body of love, activating, radiating your light as your light body, your love body, your energy bodies, now your energy body. This is your space. Feel your space of love. And as you feel your space of love and your innerness, not looking outside for things to do, for things to, to confirm to you how you are, look inside, feel how you are from within. How do you feel? Ask your heart. Ask your heart, your head, your gut, and as you ask yourself the alignment of your head, your heart, your gut, your thinking, your feeling, your knowing, all comes together as one. One love, one heart, one breath as one. All parts of your being integrating, embodying, catching up all that you've done, filling with this golden light, filling with this golden love, filling with this golden life, this beautiful light just flowing now. And as it flows through your body, the energy of your heart just radiant in this time, in this moment. And as it flows through your body to the smallest space, the golden light flowing through every cell, every atom, every electron of your being, until every cell smiles with this joy. Feel the smile, the smile. Come on, give me a smile. You can do better than that. Feel the smile. <laughs> The joy, the joy of the sounds, the joy of the angels. They are so happy. Earlier today, we brought through the sounds of the angels. We brought through your angel in your spine. And as your angel in your spine integrates and embodies all that you are are experiencing now. There's a lot to look forward to. There's a lot that you can do. You feel that you are, are now held and imprisoned. This is not true. You are being given the chance to sort out your inner net. You are being given the chance to reset and recreate. Recreate what is your space of love. Recreate and bring through that which is yours by divine right. Be in, in creation, in control of your own inner net, your own space. And if you swim and go with the flow through any restrictions with ease and with grace, you, you'll find that the, as the energies arise, if anger arises, recognize it as less than love. Love it and let it go. If fear arises, just let it go. Breathe it out and fill it with in that space. Fill it with joy. Fill it with, with appreciation and gratitude. Today, we were really aware of life, of how life is all around us so different but life is what matters living your life and being in that space of love of light of life really feeling the livingness of your being and so as the angels bring the angels of Avalon the angels of Atlantis through the crystals the angels of Avalon through the ley lines, the waters of Avalon, the mystical, magical space that is this sacred land, as the angels of alchemy through Merlin and Merlina, this beautiful energy from the angels of awareness, bringing our awareness 
into our focus right now. The angels of ascension, this ascension process is still continuing. It is part of your process of life. And as we flow through, it's a bit like the first day at school. We got there, we're there, we are in school or university or wherever we are on place of learning. It's exciting, it's absolutely brilliant when we recognize that now the work begins. Because in this space, the angels of the angles, the sacred geometry angels, are here to make sense of everything. And as this light flows, just embody and anchor and earth. anchoring earth in, grounding, breathing in this love through from the top of your head, from your soul star, from the stars and the planets, the angelic spheres, breathing this light through all of the kingdoms, through all of the beings on this planet. And as you breathe in this light, you're breathing the light and the love from the beings and kingdoms of the other planets the stars and the angelic realms. And as we incorporate and send this light, as you give, so you receive. Feeling this joy, this gratitude, this truth. previous cultures that have come before us, all of the previous epochs, all of the previous amazing civilizations, they've all brought us to this moment right now. The times of Lemuria, of Mu, of Paradisia, of Atlantis, of Egypt, of India, of the Aztecs, the Peruvians, all of the beings of light right through our modern day transformations as humanity has transformed and transferred and transmitted the light, the love. And these transformations, you are a product of your ancestors who survived. So trust that humanity will survive. You will survive. Trust in your gut, love in your heart, knowing and trusting and trusting your thoughts. And as this place in the center of your heart, the space of love, just feel the joy. The angels just want to bring some sounds through just to really anchor and body and really allow your cellular memory to really fill in all the spaces. It's like cosmic corking. <laughs> if you've been doing any decorating, you know what I mean. <laughs> if you're not, it's a bit like plaster. <laughs> So here we go. If you want to join in, please do. Opa, opa, isa ki ta tora ki, oma, oma, ita ki ya ita lo e ki ka ki ya ro ka po, ona mota isa, oka, 
Uratiteka, Uma, Uma, Isakita Turani, Tukaita Putaki, Ura, Ura. We are no more. You are no more. You are no more. Ina And as the angels start to complete now, this is a most incredible day. This, you will remember, where were you in 2012 and where were you in 2020? What were you doing? How were you integrating and embodying and stepping through the gateway? It is not over yet. We go right through to midnight. So just be aware of your dreams. Write them down um, in the morning or record them. But whatever your inner net, the energy flowing, the messages that come to you, they are profound. They are beautiful. They are your inner heart expressing their love for you. And so to keep this flowing, bless you, Paul. Thank you so much. That was beautiful. So to keep this going, we're going to show you how to keep this flow going through your divine lines, through your vital web, through your, your meridians, through your bodies. So just take your little finger in your hands. I always start with the left hand, the female hand, because it just feels right to clear through your spiritual body. Take a breath. <sighs> This clears and cleanses through your spiritual body, bringing in the light as it flows now through your karmic body, through your spine. <laughs> your ring finger releasing and letting go through your karmic body, through your nervous system. And now through your middle finger, through your emotional body. <laughs> through your heart protector and now through your index finger, through your mental body, breathing in any negative thoughts and let them go. As you breathe in through your thumb, your physical being, shake that hand. Wow, how does it feel to let go anything that's in your being through your emotional bodies your emotional being your female side and now feel the difference in your hands and now do the same to the other hand through your little finger your auric field your spiritual body 
through your karmic body, through your emotional body, through your mental body, through your physical body. Shake that hand. And today, bless you, bless you, bless you. I learned a new, new alignment. And it's just so cool. Because this is clearing through the bodies. And now we want to balance the bodies from left to right, from yin to yang, alpha and omega. So bring your hands together in prayer. And very gently bring your left hand down to, your, to the palm and breathe and slowly bring it back to center and now bring your right hand down to your palm and breathe and bring it back to center and as you bring it back to center, feel the energy now balanced and aligned and, and together as one. One love, one heart, one breath as one. As you take a breath and open your hands, opening your hands to receive this light, this love, this life. As your hands fill with this love, bring your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your tummy button, your navel. This is the power of love. And as you breathe in through the power of love, the energy flows, integrates and bodies as it flows through from the great central sun, right down through your soul star, through your heart star, to your earth star, to the heart of Mother Earth. And as it flows from the heart of Mother Earth to your earth star, to your subroot chakra, your Shambhala star, through to your root, your Hara, through to your sacral chakra, your Sashani, through to your solar plexus, through to your Trita, through your heart, through your thymus through your throat through your third eye to your crown as it flows through to the heart of the dove the shekinah chakra to your soul star this beautiful light connecting with your soul star and it all flows back down again bringing the light through your rainbow bridge bringing the light through your whole being this beautiful embodiment, this beautiful integration as you feel this energy flowing through your auric field. Feel your wings. Uh, those who know they have wings, just feel that energy flowing through your body. It's amazing as you breathe into this space. And as we just finish now with a few more sounds, of creation, the sounds of the universe from Paul. I think we've done enough sung, singing today. Does anyone want to do an om or are you? Yes, you'd like to do an om? Okay, we'll just do three. So we're just gonna do three oms. Take a breath. sounds of the angels hallelujah 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 <laughs> as we bless you we thank mr paul foss i'm daisy foss here in the heart of avalon in the daisy center 
and Glastonbury, the UK. Love to hear from you. Reach out and we look forward to seeing you in the new now, in this new moment, in this age of Aquarius. So thank you so much for watching us today and we're all going to fully integrate over the next few days right through our Christmas period right through to the new year so mwah, be careful out there beautiful big angelic etheric hug from my heart to yours from the heart of Avalon mwah, blessings thank you Merry Christmas <laughs>